be watching for breaks in high of day right here first thing to start Netflix is up 10% Apple is only up 6% only that's a very funny term when talking about 6% in Apple but 110 is definitely resistance for Apple keep your eye on that level so SPY here is looking like we might see some consolidation as we did not see a break of that key level first thing so my cautiously bullish sentiment is still intact but I'm even more cautious now as we're seeing this pullback so I want to see SPY find support here on a higher low than we saw down here which was 193.79 if we see a break of 193.79 on SPY there's more downside to come this could be a gap and trap even though not much of a gap up with such a wide range going on yesterday but we'll see if the bulls buy this little dip up and run it in the morning here or if we're gonna see some pullback into the afternoon nice long lower wick right now on this five minute candle with three minutes to go but it's definitely showing that the bulls are buying a little bit of this dip up struggling with 195 resistance right now on spy SUNY is pulling back uh, at its low of day right now we're gonna watch the eleven dollar flat psychological support GoPro is pulling back fairly significantly from its open as is Apple from 110 resistance so we're definitely looking a little bearish here right now short-term bearish we'll see if spy can hold the 20 period moving average support of 194.54 this is the kind of move where you have Main Street reading the headlines, seeing the big move pre-market and saying, oh, I want to get back in, the market's going to recover, and then you potentially have big money saying, nope, that was just so we could get another bearish position and ride it down a few more percent. So we're definitely cautious here. And as I said, make sure you're watching the high of the day of stocks yesterday and how the action today if we're setting new highs, higher highs, or if we are getting knocked down by those highs. So we're at the 20 period moving average support right now of 194.53, a little bit above it, but this is going to be an important test. Netflix is down two and a half dollars from open. Apple's down $3 from open. GoPro is down $2 from open. So that's just showing you there's definitely a pullback going on. We just fell through the support. So we are now looking at 193.79 as our next level of support. If we see a break there, we are coming down to the low down here, which was 192.94. So bulls are trying to hold this 20 period moving average support we've got one minute left in this candlestick and it's gonna be a close one we'll see how it plays out I'm definitely very cautious in the first 10 to 15 minutes of trading I wait for the the direction to reveal itself before getting into any kind of moves a lot of people in the market jumped in bullish this morning first thing and they are instantly down a couple percent so we're seeing the 20 period moving average support turning into resistance again 194.50 watch that level we still got a long way to four minutes on this candlestick so we'll see how it forms we've got SUNY here coming down on 11 flat So definitely looking like we're going to see some consolidation here before we either make a move up to test the high of the days or before we keep heading down on a bearish day. We had SUNY just break 11 support. GoPro's below 50.
Netflix is now down three and a half dollars from open. Low of the day is 104.07, so we're watching to see if these stocks are going to keep setting low of days. SPY is coming down on its low of the day from open, but we're watching the lows from pre-market as well. So there's some new lows. Definitely a bearish start to the gap up morning. Potentially a gap and trap like we were anticipating might happen here. Still green across the board. Anybody getting in yesterday at the end of the day is really happy today, but anybody getting in at the open today, not so much. If we do see continued pullback on SPY, I will be looking for a bounce off of these 100 and 200 period moving average supports. Low of the day for SPY is 194 even. We'll see if we're going to break that right here. And we just did. So definitely, definitely some bullish momentum here. Or excuse me, bearish momentum. SUNY is all the way down to 1077 now, about to go red on the day. It's a, a large 60 cent drop from the open. GoPro's at its low of day. Apple is close to its low of day, and Netflix is at its low of day. So that's just letting you know that we're going to keep this downward momentum going until we see a turnaround. So two minutes to left to go in this candlestick, watching volume on the five minute chart as well for any kind of indication where the momentum is going right now. We're seeing solid volume in the bearish direction. I would expect to test this 100 moving average, 100 period moving average support uh, this morning before we see any kind of real bounce materialize. So there's a bit more downside ahead of us. Netflix still looking the best in terms of being up 7.5%, but that also is because it dropped the most yesterday. So we're seeing a bit of a lower wick on this candlestick, making its way up to the 20 period moving average resistance. That level is 194.49 to watch very closely. If it gets rejected from there here again, we are going to see uh, more follow through on this bearish move down. Down to 192.62 is the target right now. So far we have two lower highs and lower lows on the five minute chart for SPY. Currently testing that resistance, we'll see if it can bust through it. above the resistance but we still have four minutes left to go in this candlestick so we'll have to see where it can close looking like it just got rejected if we see a lower low from the previous candlestick which was a low of 193.91 it'll be a sure sign that we are coming down to this 100 period moving average
direction right now, Marcus, in my opinion, is bearish. <clears throat> Not saying it'll end that way on the day, but right now it is certainly bearish. That 195.50 level that rejected SPY twice pre-market and then right again at the open was uh, a telling signal. Looks like a triple top on my chart here right now. So watch for a new lower break on SPY and if that is the case, I think we're coming down to 192.61, the 100 period moving average support. SUNY saw a nice 15 cent bounce from its low. So here we go, testing the low of the day for SPY. And there's a break. We're definitely bearish to start today. 192.61 is the next target. So as SPY set a new low, we are watching that GoPro, Apple, Netflix, and SUNY have all not, and PCLN have all not set a new low. So that's worth noting. Might be a little bit of lagging for them behind the overall SPY, or perhaps they are stronger than other stocks that make up the S&P 500. ER China had news that they cut their rates, which caused their stock market to bounce, which caused our stock market to bounce and gap up, which is why that Chinese stock had such a large gap up. So here we go with SPY setting new lows, definitely confirming the bearish overtone to start the day. 192.61 is the target. Pick your favorite stock and go bearish if you want, but make sure you set a stop loss at break even or just below it as we could see a the bull show up at any time but right now the bears are in full control this is what I call a gap and trap although it wasn't exactly a gap up with the such a wide range yesterday it is the same principle where stocks rise huge pre-market and then open up and it's the bears just feast on all the bulls that were suckered into buying So a little bit of decreasing volume that's to be expected with the open um, first five minutes being the most active, but definitely keeping our eye on it as it settles down here. Soon he's coming down to test its low of day. Netflix as well just set a new low and GoPro is about to test its low of day. The dotted lines are parabolic SARS, they, um, PSAR for short, they indicate a change in trend when they're trading below, when they are below the candlesticks they are a buy, when the candlesticks drop and hit the dot they flip to a sell, they flip above the price and then so as you can see on this uptrend they flip the PSAR to a buy and then as the stocks dropped they flipped it to a sell so the PSAR is a sell right now.
So seeing a little bit of a bounce here, we've got resistance of the 20 period moving average at 194.37. Key level to watch on this little bounce here. We'll see if the bulls can regain any strength or if this is just uh, a little bounce before a continued downtrend. Here's GoPro setting a new low. Tesla is still a couple bucks above its low, so still looking all right there. JMEI is currently testing the resistance of the 200 period moving average at 1083, and support is down at 1019 of the 100 period moving average. So if it gets rejected here and can't get above 1083, it's going to come down to 1019. So here's SPY testing that resistance right now. I'm going to zoom in. 194.39. SUNY is now red, setting a new low. PCLN actually looks stronger than any stock we've been looking at. Currently hitting a new high of day. No other stock is doing that or even close. So we see the law, the upper wick here that hit that resistance, and we are now pulling back. So the 20 period moving average resistance was 194.38. The high of this candlestick was 194.36. So you can see it was within two cents of hitting that resistance level before pulling back. So definitely looking like the momentum is still in the bearish favor here. Breaking now below 194 psychological support on SPY. SUNY's down to 1060, seeing a very big drop off from its high of day at 1133. Hard drop. Netflix seeing, and eh, Netflix is staying pretty steady. Definitely bearish still, that is for sure. The bears have control of the morning. AMBA is holding 100 period moving average support, bounced off of it. If that level breaks, 88 support is next. But as of right now, it's looking good for holding that support. That level is 9048. So the entire, every candlestick for open today so far has a lower high setting in. But the past two candlesticks, we did have a higher low. So we're seeing some consolidation here. Potentially the bull is trying to make a stand. If we see a break of a higher high on the candlestick, it will be an indication that the bulls might be showing up. RSI right now on SPY is still at 42, so plenty of room to go down. MACD is a little overextended headed downwards, so we'll keep our eye on that. Target is still this 100 period moving average support, 192.72.
Bulls are definitely trying here. We're going to keep a close eye on it. 194.36 was the high. 194.37 is the 20 period moving average resistance. SUNY is a very wild swinger today. We just had a 20 cent bounce off its low. Potential for some quick flips there. So we have a higher high now set and a higher low. Could be seeing the bulls showing up here. If we see a close above this 20 period moving average resistance of 194.37, it could signal that the bulls are in town. If we see another rejection, it's going to strengthen that as resistance, which is exactly what we're seeing right now, but we still have three minutes left in this candlestick. Headed up now for another attempt. And it got rejected again, so still looking bearish here. We're going to wait for this candlestick to form in the next two minutes. These upper wicks here are showing a lot of bearish pressure. And we are now red on the candlestick, so that is confirming the bears are still in control. One minute left to go. Increase in volume shows the bulls trying to make an attempt and the bears stepping in and knocking it down. So the low of this candlestick was 193.60. If we see 193.60 break, it's another point in the bears' favor. As this is playing out though, and as it's consolidating in this range, we're seeing the 100 period moving average resistance slowly climb up, so it won't be as significant a drop to that level if we do see a break of the current low of day. It's all about the 20 period moving average resistance right now on the 5 minute chart for SPY. So there's the break. A lower low has been set in, and we are coming down to 192.78, in my opinion. One ninety three forty one is the low of the day, and we are approaching that. PCLN still looks really strong. Keep setting high of days as the market pulls back. That's an, an outlier. So we just had a double bottom at the low of the day right there. We're going to see if it can hold or if we're going to pull back. But right now, 193.41 was this low and this low. Coming back to test it again. Just held again. So that is now a key level going forward. Low of the day for SPY is a double bottom.
So I expect for the next 10 or so minutes to see trading bounce between the middle Bollinger or the yeah the middle Bollinger band 20 period moving average resistance at 194.32 and the 193.41 level, which is about to be tested again for a third time. SUNY is at low of day. Coming down for another test here of the low of the day potentially. Definitely some support at that level. Netflix is coming down towards its low of day. Apple as well, and GoPro as well. So here's Spy with a nice little bounce. We'll see if we're going to head up to the 20 period moving average resistance again. Twitter got rejected from its 100 period moving average support at 25.58. Next support is the low of the day at 25.30. And after that, we got 25.13, the 200 period moving average. We might be able to hold this support here. Just saw a little bit of bullish activity. If we hold that support, we're going to be watching 25.75, which was the high of this candlestick and the high of this candlestick. So right now, 25.75 and 25.58 are the key levels to watch. But if we get rejected here on Twitter, coming down to the low of the day. Facebook found support on the 100 period moving average. That is 84.74. And it has been rejected from 85.59, 85.56, so 85.60 is resistance and support is 84.77. It too is consolidating its range just like SPY. So a lot of back and forth here uh, and indecision as the bulls and bears are trying to figure things out. Still waiting before we choose a direction on the day. Definitely had bearish sentiment for first thing. And now we're seeing if the bulls are going to be able to recover or if the bears are going to continue. SUNY is down big now to 1036. Keep your eye on $10 even psychological support on SUNY. Come on, Jim. SUNY's been a great play for us the past few weeks. We nailed the first bounce off the 200-week moving average two weeks ago, and then yesterday was another huge day. So we have three lower lows forming now and lower highs, so that's definitely a downtrend. We broke the 1341 low of day. Definitely have the bulls in, or excuse me, the bears in control. We got the 100 period moving average support of 192.84.
but you can see the lower wicks anytime we break below 193.50 are getting bought up by the bulls and the upper wicks we're getting knocked down every time we get to that 20 period moving average so definitely a tug of war going on right now the bulls and the bears are drawing the lines in the sand and battling bulls just recovered that candlestick really nicely we still have three minutes left to go Yeah, SUNY is a $10.50 stock, and in a market like this, it's just going to be used like a penny stock. Big money can move it significantly in either direction. So the bulls showed up this candlestick. We'll see if they can continue some momentum here. Watching volume, we're seeing an increase in volume. We still have three minutes left to go in this candlestick, so it's going to be a large increase in volume. Yep, Marcus, that means we have a tug of war going on. It means the bears are stepping in every time we come up towards this 20 period moving average resistance, and it means the bulls are stepping in every time we dip below 193.50. It's a perfect example of a tug of war. Bears knocked it down these two candlesticks, bulls bought it up these two candlesticks. We don't know which direction we're going to break, but we have a nice channel forming here and it will be easy to tell when we see a pattern break. The increase in volume is due to the bears knocking it down and then the bulls buying it back up and that back and forth always adds a lot of volume. This candlestick's definitely looking bullish. But, as I said, it's all about the 20 period moving average resistance at 194.32 right now. So we're going to keep watching close here. We're seeing a very defined uh, trading range, which I always like because it's very easy to distinguish when that trend is broken and either the bulls or the bears take the upper hand. <clears throat> so pick, a, pick one of your favorite stocks here because everything is following SPY really closely. Watch that stock specific five minute chart for support and resistance levels as well as check the daily and weekly chart just to see if any moving averages are there. And then once we see a break in pattern you can play the stock in that direction so we're at 193.50 level right now which is the level that the bulls have been buying the dips off of we'll see if they do it again we still have four minutes left in this candlestick yeah Monica right now we're not doing anything uh, we're waiting to see which direction the market wants to go and like I said, choose your favorite stock, have it up. You be looking at that while I'm looking at SPY. I will dictate, or not dictate, I will describe the overall trend that I'm seeing and the odds are very, very likely that the stock you are watching is going to follow those same trends. So in a market like this the past two days, playing stocks solely based on what SPY is doing is, has been profitable.
Don't forget to breathe, ref.